Okay, this is just the description. นะครับ Okay, and then I click Okay. So right now, okay, in here I have the note for my um, step that I did, and right now it becomes the um, text data type already. นะครับ So right now we just click close and apply. Okay, and then just wait. Okay. So right now, what is the next thing that I'm going to do? You can see that right now, um, the product ID has been displayed um, as an independent bar, นะครับ for um, the sales that we have. Suppose we say that um, in this in this um, chart, นะครับ instead of showing the product ID, I want to show it a product name instead. What should I do? Then you have to go to product and choose product name. I choose product name in here. You can see that in here. It just show the legend of each bar. That okay. Which bar means what kind of product? In here, it shows the legend in here. So right now you can just like move in the visualization that instead of showing the product name as a legend, you want the product name to show as on the axis in on the y axis. So right now it shows the name of the products instead of product ID. This is another way that we may be able to do. And apart from that one, if you think that oh this chart um, this chart type you don't want to have it. You want to change it to be some other kind of chart instead, นะครับ Um, in order to change the chart type, you click on the chart first, นะครับ somewhere to make the chart to be active. After that, you go to visualization and then change the chart type as you want, นะครับ For example, I change it to be pie chart, something like this, นะครับ So it show um the data, นะครับ as a pie chart instead, นะครับ In here. So apart from this one, what else that we may be able to do? That we may be able to do. The next thing that I just want to show you is that if I want to just like show the purchasing by country, as I told you earlier that okay, um, Power BI has a visualization that we call it as um, the map. We can just like have the map. For the products that the customer purchase as well, นะครับ We have two different kind of maps that you may be able to use. The first one is just the regular map. The second one is what we call field map. นะครับ I'll try um the um the regular map first. นะครับ So you can see that right now. You can see that right now. Um we have we have the product, นะครับ That has been purchased in different country, but But you can see that right now, there's nothing in the chart at all. What's wrong with it? Because the data that you choose, นะครับ doesn't have any details stating about the country at all, นะครับ And you can see that actually, the country. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look in here. The country in here should be in the ship address. If I choose ship address, what will happen? There's nothing happened here as well. Why is that? Okay, you have to know that. Okay, um, ship address. What is the content of ship address? Right now, the location here that tries to show. That try to show. Say that. Okay, ship address full. Um, Power BI will try its best in order to show us for the location that the customer purchased. And you can see that unfortunately in here. It's just like very difficult to show because you can see that in here, um, country, นะครับ is is not just a country because if the customer order from um Germany, นะครับ if the ship address is in Germany, but they are from different um location in Germany, so how do we gonna just let the um Power BI to show you just the country, นะครับ only for example. If there are 10 orders order from Germany, you want um, Power BI to show um, the map of Germany to be filled up. In this one, 
the way that we have to do is that the chip address นะครับ must be country only not the full address like we have like right now so before we just like um, fix this problem just have a look on the data first when you go to data let's move on to orders okay and then you see chip address นะครับ this is chip address full you can see that Um, and when we talk about like the country that customer purchase, like this one, Germany, okay, they order from different city in Germany, right? So that's why when it um, when the um, Power BI display in the chart, it is difficult to just like show just the German map only. But if you say that um, I don't mind, I want them to show in different location or different address, like even they are shipped in the same country. So you just leave that data to be like this, and then just let the map to be display as you see, like this one. So somebody may prefer this one because when they just like move the mouse pointer over it, they see like different um, location in the um, in the country that um, the product has been um, deliver something like that. So the things that we do, นะครับ in order to see just the country is that. You have to split, นะครับ You have to split the column, นะครับ To be just the country, นะครับ How can we do that? If you want to manage the data, the tools that we have to manage, that we have to use to manage the data is Power Query, นะครับ Is the Power Query anyway? So in this one, I will do the step like this. Step number one, นะครับ I will copy this. Um, column first because I still want to keep the chip address full like this, and after that I will manage the the copy um, column, นะครับ the copied column. Okay, for, so uh, in this case I want to display just the country only. Then I just like split only the country, นะครับ Okay, these are step that I have to do. So now, when you know what we have to do already, now let's do it together, นะครับ In this one, have I go to Power Query Editor first, and then I just go to Transform Data. I have to go to Power Query Editor. After that, I go to the table that I want to split. That is order table. I have that is order table. Um, this is our the column that we want to that we want to manage. As I told you earlier, I want to copy this data first. I want to copy this this um this column first. Uh -huh. Okay. So what are we going to do in here? Firstly, I want to copy this column as another column. So you highlight, you choose this column first, and then you right click. You see um there are context menu here. So the context menu here, the things that I want to do is to duplicate column, to duplicate column. So everyone just right click on chip address full column, and then go to duplicate column. You see duplicate column, um, the chip address full will be copied to another column. Now we have extra column for the chip address full already. I'm going to manage this chip address. นะครับ to have just only the country only. Um, before we can do it, you have to just look around. นะครับ for the data that we have in this column, you can see that the country is on the rightmost part of this column. นะครับ for every single for every single record. นะครับ the next one that you may notice is that before the country นะครับ we have comma นะครับ and then space you can see that we have comma space comma space นะครับ before we end with um before we end with the country so uh Manit asks me that can we use the country column from customer table no ครับ you have to why why no let me just explain to you In this case, you can see that I'm going to talk about the country that we ship the product to. นะครับ That might be different country from your customer. For example, your customer might be in in France, 
but they would like us to ship the product to Germany. So that's why in here, my intention is that we want to see the country that we ship the product to. That's why we have to use, that's why we have to use the shipping address full to split it as like um, different country that we ship the product from, um, that we ship the product to. We use this one. So it depends on the context of the, um, it depends on the context of your data too. But in this case, as I told you, we want um, the ship address Okay, okay, now we see the comma symbol here already and then space. So the things that we have to know is that once you would like to split um, the country or split any data from one column, the data that we split will be um, split into another extra column. The things that we have to use to split, we have different ways to split. The first one, we count number of characters and then we split. But you can see that in here, number of characters in each country are different. France and Germany, Germany, um, the word Germany is longer than the word France and it's not equal to Brazil, it's not equal to Switzerland then you can't use, you can't split by the number of characters. But in some cases, characters can be used to split. For example, if we say that, okay, we um, sell the products in one country where they have to specify the zip code, the zip code in the same country should have the same length. For example, in Thailand, um, the zip code, we have like five text, oh, sorry, five digits. So every city in Thailand have like five digit um, zip code, then you can use like number of characters, I have five characters for the zip code to split that one. That is okay. But for the country's name, I have the length are not equal. So you can't use the, the length of the characters to split. So, and what should we do? The next way that we can split, I have, we'll use um, the symbol that we call delimiter, the delimiter. The delimiter, what is delimiter? Delimiter is the character that we use to split or to use to break some text. So in this case, you can see that we have comma as the delimiter. We find, we find um, comma in every single line before we find the country name. So in this case, we use comma as the delimiter have to split. But the delimiter can be some other characters as well. For example, sometimes you may see this symbol, sorry, this symbol here as the delimiter. Sometimes they people may use tab, tab as the delimiter to break different um, text. They tap and then type the text later on and then tap again, something like that. Sometimes some um, column or some field, they may use um, they may use here, semicolon. Sometimes they use colon as delimiter. Depends, you have to see on the data and understand the data first before you can just break this data or split this data into different columns. Okay, so in this example, we use comma as the delimiter. How do we gonna split? After we copy this, um, after we um, copy this um, column as an extra column already, you can see that, okay, you may just like go to do different ways. The first one, you may just choose split column in a transform group and choose delimiter. Or right click on that column and choose split column and choose by delimiter as well. So in this case, we will split by using comma as the delimiter. Okay, so I choose this column, choose split, choose split column by delimiter. And then in here it shows us that, okay, we are splitting column by delimiter. What symbol that we use as the delimiter? So in this example, we use comma, we use comma. And also you can have like either colon, comma, equal sign, semicolon, space, or tab, 
or you may choose like um, some other symbol instead. นะครับ But in this one we have comma. นะครับ Where to split? So you have to see which which comma would you like to use. So you can see that the comma that we use to split the country is the comma on the rightmost at the rightmost position. For example, if you see on my screen, the first um, the first row in here is 59 Rue de Abbaye, Reims, 51100, comma France. So this one, I want the rightmost comma to split. Uh -huh. Same as other records as well in Germany. Uh -huh. The rightmost comma is used to split the country from the rest of the address. Uh -huh. Then I choose rightmost delimiter. Uh -huh. Okay. And then I want to split into column. Uh -huh. I want to split into columns. So that means the newly split um, um, text will be created as a new column. Uh -huh. Then I click OK. You can see that right now it has been split into the rest of the address and the country. Uh -huh. Okay. So in here, you can see that we have like all the countries located as a new column already. Uh -huh. So for the chip address for copy one in here, if you don't want it, uh -huh, you may delete it because we still have the original chip, full, uh, chip address full in here. Uh -huh. The chip address for copy one doesn't have the country because we split it out already. Uh -huh. Okay. So I just right click. If I don't want it, I just right click and then remove this column out. Uh -huh. So right now I have the chip address full and chip address full copy to. Uh -huh. It's not finished yet. Uh -huh. We have like some steps to be done. The first one, I want to rename this column because I want to name it as chip country, not chip address full copy to because it's not chip address full anymore. Then I right click on this new column and then choose rename. I name it as chipped country. Chip country. Uh -huh. and press enter. That is the first step that I do. What else? Actually, the chip country here uh -huh, is not completed yet. Because if you remember, we have comma and we have space. Uh -huh, we have comma and we have space. Now, when it's split, uh -huh, we use comma to separate. But we still have space in front of each values, uh -huh, in front of each values. The next thing that you have to do is that you have to find a way in order to manage the leading space uh -huh, in front of the ship country, uh -huh, in front of the ship country. How do we gonna remove the? How do we gonna remove the leading space? Uh -huh. In this phase, uh -huh, we have the we have the options uh -huh, or we have the functions in um, Power BI to have to help you. Uh -huh. The way in order to remove the leading um, space, uh -huh, we call this function as trim. Uh -huh. Trim will trim just like unwanted uh -huh, or unnecessary um, space in front of the text that we have or if we have like some country uh -huh, or some um, text with like two spaces or double spaces between two words the trim will just remove one extra space out to let you see just one space only uh -huh. that is a trimming process as well so this one will do just the basic trimming uh -huh. that will trim like the leading um, space in front of the country name uh -huh. So you just right click on the ship country column, go to transform, uh -huh, and then we choose trim. You can see that right now in front of each country name, uh -huh, there is no leading space anymore because it's trim already. Uh -huh. Apart from this one, you may just like manage the data that you have, for example, 
you may transform it to be all uppercase นะครับ you may capitalize each word นะครับ or you may just like set up the length นะครับ for example you fix the length of the text as well นะครับ for example sometimes the text is too long you may want to display just the first 20 text only by cutting or eliminating the rest of the length of the text นะครับ you may be able to do that as well but this one we are okay with these values นะครับ um, I, after we click, after we trim the data already นะครับ um, it should be okay for us นะครับ to display in the in the chart นะครับ for the ship country here okay so when we are okay with this um, split it column already นะครับ we close and apply นะครับ and then we just wait a bit so right now in the data tab นะครับ um, for for our table called orders we have the column called ship country already นะครับ we have the country of uh, ship country already so in this one นะครับ if you go back to um, the chart นะครับ instead of having um, having the ship address full นะครับ I just change to be ship country instead นะครับ so it just like show you the things like this and if I want I don't want product name you can see that in here it just show the country นะครับ that we have the order and it just show the quantity that um, the customer purchase us and ship to that country for example in here it shows that okay we ship to Italy for 822 items something like this นะครับ okay so right now นะครับ we just like be able to manage with the with the countries that we have already นะครับ by just like splitting the column into like an extra column that we have นะครับ so if you in in the reality if you have the um, the chip country as a full address like that if you still want to have it I recommend you to copy it or duplicate the column first before you split it as a country นะครับ in an extra column นะครับ so let's talk about the um, the next type of the map a bit if I go to field map นะครับ what's the difference between field map and um, the previous ones นะครับ um, in this one is different because um, the regular map it shows just a circle นะครับ to that to that um, to that map only and the size of the circle okay let's see first the size of the circle tell us about the quantity the larger size of the circle means that that um, country the customer order more than the small ones นะครับ for example you can see that in here in Germany the quantity is 9213 and it's bigger and it's bigger than and it's bigger than um others i have it bigger than others okay. now let's let's talk about the the regular map and the field map the regular map just show you um the order on the map and the size of the circle tell us about the numbers that we use in this case is a quantity so the the bigger the circle the more number of items that you order นะครับ but if we use the field map นะครับ it doesn't show the quantity นะครับ in here it just show us that okay if that country นะครับ is um, painted นะครับ or field that means that country has some order but if you want to know how many items that the customer order you have to move the mouse pointer นะครับ over that country map and then you see the quantity here that is shown in the bubble นะครับ this is difference between the this is different between the um, field map นะครับ and the regular map okay so in this case if you say that okay you would like to show it on the screen นะครับ in the meeting room while other people cannot move the mouse pointer on um, the main screen in the meeting room you may choose the regular map instead นะครับ so that um, different um, different country will show order in different size of the circle นะครับ okay so this one is the this one is the example for the um, map that we use that we use um, power bi to just create a chart for the map นะครับ
นะครับโอเค so when we have the map นะครับ and we have the data like this to be shown already what is the next thing that we have to know นะครับ um, right now you can see that you can see that the data นะครับ that we use for this um, tables นะครับ for these tables they are just the quantity นะครับ they are just the quantity just let, let me just go to see the table um, let's see order detail okay you can see that the order detail just show us for unit price quantity นะครับ and discount Um, while the uh, while the um, amount of money here it doesn't show anything to us at all นะครับ it doesn't show anything to us at all what should we do นะครับ somebody say that hey can we use Excel and then we just go to multiply anything in here for example can we just like multiply unit price by quantity here um, to create another column before you get into the Power BI Um, the answer is that you don't need to do so because Power BI can manage the data for us. So in this one, in this one, let me just like show you how you're gonna do it. The things that we have to do is that okay, if we want to have another extra column, that is the calculation. We call this one as column in Power BI. We create a column in Power BI here. So the um the Power BI, นะครับ can be used to create the data, นะครับ um in um I mean for every rows, นะครับ in your in your table, นะครับ and we call it as column. Column, นะครับ Once you create a column, it shows, นะครับ Or it calculate every single row by using the same formula. For example, in here, if you want to know, นะครับ If you want to know how much, นะครับ Does it cost per each product that has been purchased in each order, นะครับ You know the formula that is unit price times quantity, right? You know that it is unit price times quantity. So, in this one, okay. Assume that, okay. Regardless of talking about the discount now, we know that um, the column or the extra column that we want to have come from unit price times quantity. นะครับ Um, I want to name this new column as um gross sales. นะครับ Gross sales. นะครับ Gross sale come from unit price times quantity. When I know the formula already, I have to create the new column, in Power BI. How to create the column? You don't need to go to Power Query. The column can be created in the data sheet directly, in the data sheet directly in here. You just go to the table that you would like to create a column. For example. In here, I want to create a column called um, gross sales in the order detail table. นะครับ So I want to create it here. นะครับ As just like the blue box in here. Okay. So the things that I have to do in here is that I go to table tools. นะครับ Table tools, and then I choose new column. New column. Once I click new column here, นะครับ you can see that there is a new column coming in. While it has the formula bar similar to the one that we had in Microsoft Excel, นะครับ So the things that we have to do is that you enter the formula as you like, นะครับ If you have or if you want that column to be a constant value, you just type the constant value there. Okay, that I'll show you later. Next, นะครับ Um, what will what are we going to do? As we know that this column, นะครับ come from unit price time quantity, นะครับ then you just type the field name, นะครับ unit. Once you start typing, นะครับ for example, you know that the field name is unit price. Once you type unit, you can see that in here, um, Power BI will show you that what is the field that we have. The field that we have here. นะครับ is in the square bracket name unit price and orders detail mean the table name นะครับ 
this is table order detail that we are creating นะครับ so in here you just type unit นะครับ and then when you see the pop up box in here you just click to choose นะครับ you don't need to type the whole name นะครับ you just double click to choose then it just show us that okay we are doing something with unit price field or unit price column from order detail table นะครับ multiply by quantity right you just type one here is quantity here orders detail quantity double click uh -huh. so that's it you get the the um, new column uh -huh, to multiply unit price uh -huh, and quantity together if you are okay press enter uh -huh. then you start calculating for you The next thing that you have to know is that after we create this new column already, this column is not gross sales yet because it show as column. Uh -huh. How do you rename this column? Uh -huh. The things that you can do is that you may right click rename and then you just rename what you want. Uh -huh. In this case, suppose I say that it's called as gross sale, gross sales uh -huh. and press enter. You can see that in here, the column name is called as gross sales. Uh -huh. The second way in order to rename uh -huh, the column, uh -huh, apart from just like um, right, -cl right click and then rename it, you may just choose this. Uh -huh. In the past, it was called as column equals to blah 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 you just rename it here type to um, replace column with the word gross sales uh -huh. and then it will be the name of the column directly uh -huh. okay right okay so are there any questions about like creating this first column if there is no um, if there is no question uh, um, I want you to create a new column by yourself uh, okay so I want you to create five columns for me uh, the first one uh, I want you to create a column called discount amount uh, this column you can calculate by multiplying the gross sales by the discount uh, The cross sales by the discount because right now the discount is the percentage already uh -huh. for any um records that discount is zero uh -huh. the discount amount will be zero uh -huh. but if there are some values in the discounts uh -huh, that is not zero the discount amount will be other values instead uh -huh. okay after that uh -huh, the second one i want you to create another column called vat uh -huh. So every row you assign seven percent to this column. Uh -huh. Number three, uh -huh. I want you to create a column called net sales. Uh -huh. So you can calculate this column by subtracting gross sales uh -huh, to the discount amount. Column number four, create a column called VAT amount. Uh -huh. You multiply VAT value in the VAT column. That is seven percent. Uh -huh. Calculate directly uh, from the value in the VAT. Don't type 7%. Uh, just just um, refer to the, the, the column called VAT. Uh, multiply, uh, multiply it by net sales. Uh, and for the last column, uh, create a column called total sales. This column needs to, to have the addition between net sales and the VAT amount. Uh, okay, in this one, I give you 10 minutes uh, in order to create these columns do it for me now I have everyone and then I'll show you how to do that okay <clears throat> for these five columns they are very easy um, when I have the um, exam the final exam for you is the same as like this kind of thing um, you have to calculate from um, the existing column that we have something like this but you have to read carefully what do I want for the calculation in this case you can see that the first one i want you to create a column called discount amount 
นะครับ so I just go to table tools and then um, click new column Okay, this column is called discount amount. นะครับ discount amount. This column come from multiplying gross sales by the discount. นะครับ so I just multiply gross sales. นะครับ by the discount. Okay, so I get the first column already. นะครับ So you can see that some of the um, some of the um, column doesn't have the sorry some of the row doesn't have the discount. นะครับ Okay then then I I create the next column. The next column called um, VAT. นะครับ This column I assign just like um, 7% directly. นะครับ 7% directly. There is no um, there is no need to just like uh, multiply or doing whatever thing. Some of you may just want to put 0.007 instead. That's okay too. นะครับ Both of them. When you say that, okay, this one is error. นะครับ You have to know that because VAT in term of percentage in um Power BI, you better put 0.07 instead of 7%. นะครับ Then we just replace it with um 0.07 like this. นะครับ Um, for changing the data type, I'll just like talk about it next on, นะครับ on the next class. After that, okay, every row has a VAT for seven percent already. Then I create another um, column that is called net sales. นะครับ This column net sales come from subtracting gross sales by discount amount. นะครับ um, I have gross sales. I subtract it by discount amount. นะครับ Okay. Then I get net sales already. Then the next one, นะครับ The next one is to create um, a column called VAT amount. นะครับ I just multiply. นะครับ Net sales with VAT, นะครับ Net sales with VAT. Okay, um, I just use VAT times net sales. And for the last column, นะครับ For the last column is total sales. The last column total sales, I will add net sales, นะครับ with the VAT amount. So this one I get net sales. Uh, I get the total sales already. Okay. So when we get this information, you may use these um, newly created columns. To be in your chart, right now instead of showing as number of items, it can show just like the um, amount of sales that you want to have. It can also show the amount of VAT, นะครับ or even gross sales that you want to show, นะครับ without any problems, นะครับ Okay, right. So up to this point, do you have any question, ครับ for creating um, the new column? So um, in here, it's just like creating um, the data, นะครับ or the new column by using the data in the same table. Next time, I will talk about creating columns by referring to a cell or by referring to a column in another table, นะครับ And then we talk about like the um, other tools that we call it as major, นะครับ Okay. So before we finish the class today, นะครับ um, I think right now most of you, นะครับ get the team, นะครับ get the group for the team presentation already, นะครับ So are there anyone who still don't have the team yet? Uh, I I don't think I have a team yet. Okay, so right okay. now we yeah. have 
Anthony we have Pasut นะครับ who still don't have the team นะครับ so um, I would like you to do like this for um, if possible นะครับ I want you to just like help um, your classmate first นะครับ if you can just accept them in your team นะครับ um, please just like um, contact each other through the line messenger นะครับ now we have Anthony and we have Pasut นะครับ Anthony and Pasut could you please just like type in the um, chat room in the line messenger that you don't have the team yet okay so that okay anyone who still have like um, available seats in that team can just accept you and um, this evening I will just have a look and ask you once again if you still don't have the team I'll just like go to check for the registered team นะครับ whether I can just like um, ask them to help you นะครับ Okay, for anyone who have team already, นะครับ please register into the um, into the what to say Google form, นะครับ so that I know that you have the team already and I will see number of um, members in the team, นะครับ just in case that you have like um, too few people, นะครับ I may have to just like um, ask you to um, accept one or two more people in your team or if you have like too many people in the team. I may have to ask you to just like um, send someone to another team instead. Nah, so please register it um, for me this morning. Nah, because this evening I'll check it out. Nah, and a little more thing before we finish the class. Nah, I want you to see this. Nah, the spec of the um, team presentation or the group project. Nah, so um, in this one. Nah. Um, The things I want you to do is that I want you to use these functions. Nah, um, you can see that this one I just like load it in the um, e-learning already together with um, alongside with the um, team registration. Nah, I want you to use like um, these functions. Nah, at least at least one function per group. Nah, so for date and time I didn't teach you, so you may skip. นะครับ so um the basic function sum average max min you can use like one or more functions than this นะครับ in each group นะครับ if function นะครับ with an and or นะครับ this one go financial function นะครับ amortization table you may just like show me นะครับ what if analysis you choose one out of this or you may choose all of them if you like นะครับ go see forecasting worksheet scenario to input table นะครับ look up functions like head edge look up we look up Index, นะครับ I didn't teach you for the match function, pivot table, นะครับ data visualization and scenario manager, นะครับ Okay, and these are just like the spec of the presentation that we have. Each team will spend around 10 up to 15 minutes, นะครับ I will randomly call you, นะครับ Call each team for presenting, and the presentation date will be the last week of this term. นะครับ We will spend um both Monday and Wednesday for presentation. นะครับ And after you um presented already, you have to upload your materials that are PowerPoint and Excel file. นะครับ Into e-learning for me. นะครับ Um so I'll just like let you still have a time after after presentation for another week. นะครับ So that you can just like complete all of the worksheets and then submit um, all of the materials and then submit it to me um, through the e-learning. Okay. So this um, presentation has like contain 15% of the course total score. And there is no um, point for the absence of member. So that means everyone in a team has to present. And there is no makeup presentation. So that means you have to just like present in um, during the presentation days, นะครับ Monday and Wednesday, นะครับ Okay, right. So for more information, if you would like to ask me more, นะครับ you can just like you may ask um, the question in the line group so that I can answer and other teams can see it as well, นะครับ Okay, okay. Then before we finish the class, นะครับ everyone, do you have any questions? Okay. If you don't have any question, นะครับ would you please um, turn on your camera, ครับ so that I can just capture the screen, นะครับ
Okay, just one be long, นะครับ Okay, okay, นะครับ everyone ครับ um, so if you don't have any question now, นะครับ um, that's all for today, นะครับ you have a nice day, นะครับ take care, นะครับ and then stay safe. We see each other again on next Monday, นะครับ just practice what we learned today for Power BI, นะครับ okay, okay, ครับ everyone take care, นะครับ see you on Monday, นะครับ bye bye, bye bye, have a nice day, ครับ